Hi, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, Bosch Click and Go Storage Solution System, which includes their L boxes, all the various organizational uh, things that you can uh, purchase for it, the uh, items that you can use to take this stuff mobile, like the L cart and the uh, L dolly. I've uh, been throwing manufacturer uh, toolboxes away for the last 20 years. I just don't like mismatched boxes. They don't stack well. Uh, with the exception of my Festool stuff, I mean, that's uh, kind of similar to the Bosch, and I'll compare those uh, later on in the uh, video. But first of all, let's talk about the uh, various L boxes available in the uh, sizes. All the L boxes are 17 and a half inches uh, wide by 14 inches deep, and they have uh, five different L boxes. Uh, in four different sizes. They start off with what they call an L box one. These are four and a half inches deep. They have a one and a one A. These stack together, all sizes, uh, uh, you know, uh, mix and match. You can put a, a one, a two, a three, and a four together. Matter of fact, you can add what they call an L rack. You can basically make a little toolbox out of these if you want to. This is an L box one. Uh, I've got all my Dremel stuff in it and that works out pretty well. Speaking of uh, poorly designed toolbox, anybody that's ever had a Dremel to try to put that thing back in the Dremel box with all the little accessories is just a joke. I mean, they've got neat little places that you can wrap the cord and, you know, by the time uh, you get that done, you're totally frustrated. So I just threw that away and put it in a L-Box 1. This is an L-Box 1A, exactly the same size, but uh, it has uh, little boxes in it that you can uh, uh, put components in, screws, whatever you want. But uh, the difference between the uh, 1 and the 1A, besides just having the boxes, because you can add your own boxes, they have a, a styrofoam insert in the top, and that styrofoam insert closes down on top of the uh, little boxes. So, you know, when you're mobile, styrofoam keeps everything in its uh, proper box so that's the uh, difference between the 1 and the 1A. Now we'll jump up to the 2. L-Box 2 is 6 inches deep so it's a little deeper. Um, a lot of the uh, power tools come in uh, this particular size here. This is my uh, Bosch Impact. So it's kind of nice if you're going out to a job and you know that uh, you know, you, you've got to screw a bunch of stuff up or whatever, you grab your Impact and uh, you can set it on, uh, on the cart, pull out your L-Box that has uh, you know, proper screws in it and you can stack it to your, you know, your current L-Box that has the tool in it. So a lot of the Bosch tools come with uh, L-boxes. You can buy them either way. You can also buy their tools with uh, just the insert, which would be the uh, uh, plastic insert that goes in here. So this is uh, size, this particular one's got the battery and the charger in it. So you can buy them that way and put them in your existing L-boxes. step up to L-Box 3. This particular one I keep my sanders in. These are 10 inches tall. Once again they lock, you know, you can uh, lock into uh, any other size. And finally, this is the uh, big boy. This is uh, 15 inches tall. And, uh, you know, I would say you probably want to keep uh, lighter weight stuff in here, sanding this, maybe a sander. I mean, if you piled this thing uh, full of tools, it uh, would be uh, quite heavy to uh, move around. So that's the uh, four sizes available. L-Box 1, 1A with the uh, styrofoam insert in the top, you know, keeps things from uh, cross-contaminating. Then we have the uh, uh, L-Box 2, and below it, L-Box 3, and of course the uh, L-Box 4. So that's the uh, sizes, and now we'll uh, take a look at the uh, various inserts available for uh, 
this click and go system. Now we'll look at some of the organizational options. One of the most popular things is probably going to be the L rack. This is the same 17 and a half by uh, 14 inch uh, footprint. So it will either drop below or above an L box one, two, three, or four. All this stuff integrates with each other. But this rack has uh, three different openings in it and it accepts either what they call a 53, which is a shallow uh, drawer type or a 72, which is a taller uh, drawer. I don't have any of the 72s, and in retrospect, I wish I had uh, ordered some uh, 72s along with it. It's basically the same thing, but instead of two and a quarter inches tall, you have a three inch uh, tall drawer. Now, these inserts in this uh, deep drawer are uh, the uh, 72 series, so if you take a look, that's, uh, I'll pull one of these out. That's the difference between the uh, 53 and 72. But uh, like I said, I, I think I would just go with the uh, deeper version uh, next time around. Um, I really can't see too many advantages of the shallow version unless you had a lot of small parts and it was easier to, uh, to uh, grab them. But these drop into the uh, L rack. Plus there's a couple different configurations. You can order these boxes separate as well. Um, you know, I've got different colored ones here, uh, blue, yellow, gray, uh, this particular configuration, uh, red and gray, so they've got a lot of uh, smaller boxes, so if you had a electronic components or something, it'd work well for that. But these drop in and lock, so when you're going down the road, they won't slide out. This uh, 53 does uh, the same thing, and if I had some of the uh, 72 versions, uh, I would uh, show you that as well. But you can also uh, add foam inserts to the L boxes. So if you had a tool that uh, you wanted to uh, store, this is, uh, this is the L box 2 version. And here's for the L box 1. And it's similar to that foam you would see in a camera shop. You've got uh, cubes in here, and you pick away the cubes, and you can uh, make a tool uh, fit in there perfectly. So if you had a uh, a DeWald or a Rigid or something you wanted to carry or some specialty tool this uh, does a really good job of protecting that. The other option that goes along with these is uh, a shelf. This is basically the same thing as the L rack. If you took three of them and stuck them together you would have an L rack that come apart. This L rack is um, permanently um, put together so you can't uh, disassemble it in three parts. But this is the same thing. So if you needed, uh, say, four, you know, you uh, need for four, you just buy an L rack and an L shelf. It also makes for a nice uh, solution here. Let's say uh, we wanted to uh, go mobile with just, just a couple things. We could take this L shelf And drop it on and then we have a storage solution in the bottom with our impact here. So if we needed to take say screws on, we could pick our right container, drop it in and go mobile with that. So many different options is uh, as far as inserts. As I mentioned earlier, you can purchase uh, some of their tools with just the insert without the L-Box if you already have an L-Box. Or you can purchase uh, most of their tools that are L-Box ready. So, uh, you know, you just stack the uh, solution and uh, take it with you and it uh, works out fantastic. So, next I'm going to show you a couple of the mobile options. If you uh, work out in the field and you want to take this stuff with you, uh, this makes it a lot easier. Bosch has two different solutions for going mobile. First of all is their L Dolly, which uh, is this four-wheel device here. It has uh, locking uh, feet on it, so if you want to keep it uh, up against the wall in the shop, you can lock the thing down and it won't uh, roll around. But it rolls uh, very nice. It's quiet, so if you're working in, say, in a hospital or something like that and needed to uh, take your work with you, this, uh, this would be a uh, great choice for that. But uh, it's uh, got a system on it where the uh, actual L-Box locks to the card. 
and then you can, you can just add stuff to it. Say you need to take your impact along with you. You can uh, click it in place, and you know the thing uh, rolls around uh, quite easy. Now, if you're outdoors or you need to go upstairs, you know, which this obviously wouldn't do well, then they have what they call an L card. Now, this L card is not just for their, uh, you know, for their L box and, and various tools that go along with it. This thing has a uh, 275 pound capacity. It only weighs 17 pounds. And compared to Festool, they also have a card. But it's bulky and takes up a lot of space and it does not hold up like this. You'll notice that uh, this particular unit, the wheels are flat. So you uh, pull the foot down and notice it also has a nice uh, deep foot on it, a lot uh, deeper than uh, some of the two wheel carts that uh, uh, you have a hard time uh, keeping stuff uh, balanced on. But you flip that down, the wheels come out. On the very top here, there's a button you know, like a suitcase, and that allows you to uh, extend the handle. So this uh, thing really, uh, really works well. Uh, has hooks on here for bungee cords, so once you get your uh, load secured on it, you can wrap that around it. I originally thought when I got this that the uh, L-box should clip to the bottom of this. Matter of fact, uh, it's got a couple um, red skid pads on there, and I kept messing around with it, thinking it should lock down. But I kind of understand uh, Bosch's reasoning for uh, not doing that. I mean, you get uh, a complete stack of tools, which could be heavy, up to 275 pounds. You get that thing rocking back and forth, you know, that puts a lot of stress on those clips. So I don't think that would probably hold up too well. So this is uh, your second option. does a great job uh, going upstairs. The thing folds almost flat, you know, it's just a few inches thick. So it really uh, doesn't uh, take up uh, much space in your vehicle and uh, works great on uh, rough terrain, roll it around outside. I uh, moved a uh, can from uh, the shop to the shed the other day and, and used this to do it and it, uh, it did a good job. So this is uh, Bosch's uh, two different solutions uh, for going mobile. You want to stack uh, you know, tools, uh, screws, uh, various, you know, whatever you want to pull off your uh, shelf at, uh, at your uh, shop and uh, go mobile with, it will uh, stack on uh, one of these carts and uh, makes it easy to go mobile. As I mentioned, the only other toolbox container I've kept over the years is the Fest Tool Sustainer. As a matter of fact, last year I bought uh, several more. Uh, for organizations including one of their sort tainers which is really a nice unit and I'll show you that a little bit later. As you can see the Festool Sistainer is a little bit smaller than the Bosch. Now I'm not going to say that's a, a pro by any means because you might not want the additional size but I just want to show you there is a difference. Festool has made a couple different versions of this over the years. This is their original design compared to the new design. And to uh, open the uh, container, you would flip open these uh, green latches on the front. And when you wanted to lock it to another container, these things would actually slide up and lock. And they always uh, felt like they were going to break off. I've never had an issue with them, but I never really did like this design. Now, Festool has improved that with this design that has hooks on the back of the feet. So it actually locks in to the uh, top of the uh, box below it. And you can rotate this knob around and lock the uh, front together. And uh, that works pretty well. One of the problems, they didn't make these things really compatible. You could take a old style and stack a new style on top of it and lock it. You can see how much tougher that is to do than, uh, than the uh, Bosch uh, L-Box. Uh, it would lock that way, but you can't do it the other way around. You can't stack um, an old version on top of a new version. So uh, I do, uh, do not really like the uh, latch system on the uh, Festool near as well as I do the uh, 
Bosch uh, click and go that uh, just works a lot better for me. By no means uh, are these uh, bad boxes. I've got quite a few of them around here and uh, they function uh, perfectly, but I just think Bosch has a better system when it comes to the uh, locking mechanism and the fact that uh, it's uh, compatible with everything they have. You buy a tool, it locks to the uh, um, to an L rack or an L shelf or whatever you have. It uh, it's compatible between everything, uh, at least better than the uh, Festool, in my opinion. This is a Sustainer One, and if you buy a Sustainer One on Amazon.com, street price is going to be about sixty-five bucks, and a Bosch L-Box one, you know, which is larger, is about thirty-two bucks, uh, thirty-five at the most. So double the price. Um, I prefer the the Bosch, the way it locks together, over the uh, over the Sustainer, but. Uh, you know, to me it's a no-brainer. As a matter of fact, I've switched out a lot of my uh, organization stuff, which I'm going to show you more of here in a second, with uh, Bosch just because it, uh, it's cheaper and it also uh, works out better. In the shop environment, this works out pretty well. I've got a bunch of l racks stacked here and each one of these has uh, various crimp connectors, sheet metal screws, anchors. I've got some residential electrical stuff in there miscellaneous house hardware, which is some hinges and things that go along with the windows in the house, uh, wire nuts and clamps, so this works pretty nice. And if I'm working on a project where I need any of this, I can either just you know, pull the uh, drawer out and take it with me, or if I'm not sure what I need or there's various things, then you know I can just uh, take and uh, um, roll the uh, dolly right over to the project and uh, use it that way. So it works out pretty well. As you can see, Got uh, L boxes on the shelf, which I uh, keep tools in. Um, there's my Bosch sanders. Over here, uh, these are all L box 1As, and I've got them all on uh, slides. So you can pull the slide out and open it up. You'll notice here, I've got a maple chunk of wood, and that is actually a uh, little locking mechanism that's uh, similar to uh, what you'll find on the L boxes and that allows you to uh, uh, lock that thing down, put the, close the thing here, lock it down and in place. So if you've got uh, uh, a mobile work vehicle and uh, you want to lock these things down on the shelf so they're not sliding around, uh, you could use those. As a matter of fact, uh, if you uh, go to the uh, uh, thread on workshopaddict.com in the link below, I'll uh, give you a print on uh, how to make your uh, own little latches for uh, the uh, uh, L-Box uh, containers. It uh, works pretty well. I mentioned earlier that uh, Festool has what they call a sort tainer. I'm hoping uh, Bosch will uh, do something like this similar. This works really nice. I mean, I like the fact that they've got these little drawers, you know, like these little small screws and uh, you know, bits and things like that. This is not something that uh, Bosch offers at this point. Um, so anything that I want to get out of a Bosch L box, I got to pull the pull the drawer out and lift it up. Uh, it's not a big deal, but I would like to uh, see uh, Bosch come out with uh, something like that in the future. I've heard rumblings that uh, Bosch is working on uh, various uh, locking systems and maybe some additional racking. Uh, um, but I don't know that for a fact. I would kind of like to see him come out with a uh, wall rack. I suppose like I could build uh, brackets for the uh, L rack and put stuff on the wall. But these are really nice boxes. They're very economical, work great in the shop or out in the field. So it would be nice if they uh, had uh, increased their uh, uh, systems available for the shop where you know guy puts uh, these racks on the wall and just drop all the various sizes in it but first rate system click and go uh, from Bosch uh, works uh, works really nice I had a lot of electrical stuff a lot of plumbing stuff and uh, little uh, shallow uh, totes uh, under the workbench things like that moved a lot of that over to this uh, L dolly with all these L racks on it and ended up with a bunch more space and this is a lot easier to see. I don't have to uh, dig through it. So uh, really nice system uh, from Bosch. Uh, that's the uh,
click and go and this rich at workshopaddict.com. Have a great day.